Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics for Saturday, June 25th, 2022. A couple of areas to watch now. In the Atlantic, we have 94L down there. That's the orange area. 60% chance of development over the next several days. I suspect those odds will begin to go up. It does look a little bit better organized. We'll show you that on satellite and vorticity signatures in just a second. And then we have a new area that's popped up in the last day or so here in the Northwest Gulf. The National Hurricane Center indicating a small chance that something could develop off of a dying front and some energy that is forecast to gather in the Gulf. So we're going to want to watch that closely for interests in Louisiana and especially Texas. In the Eastern Pacific, Celia is still holding on but starting to weaken. And then a new area now up to about a 30% chance of development, but it will remain well off the coast of Mexico. So no worries about impacts there, even if this does try to develop further. Looking at the satellite animation this morning, courtesy of Tropical Tidbits, it's interesting there are three distinct areas in the deep tropics here. There's one, two, and three. The middle one there is 94L, presumably the most organized of the three, and that's the one that we're watching the closest. Nothing in the Gulf of Mexico yet, but in the next few days we could see something try to get together there. And again, we're going to want to watch that. It could bring some beneficial rain to Texas, and we'll just have to see if there's much more to it than that. Now, looking at the vorticity chart here, there's 94L, a little bit more defined this morning, still at a very low latitude, well south of 10 degrees north, moving off to the west, maybe just slightly north of due west. It will have to gain some latitude, and I think it'll do so. Otherwise, it's going to run right into the northern coast of South America. This is forecast to move through the Windward Islands. I'll show you that in the model guidance in just a moment. And there is Celia over there, well to the south of the Baja and southwest of uh, mainland Mexico on the Pacific side of things. So the track guidance here, pretty tightly clustered still, as you would expect for something in the deep tropics, and uh, probably does develop. So I think we're going to get Tropical Storm Bonnie out of this, and the first impacts will be felt in the Windward Islands in about four to five days. So folks there are going to want to uh, monitor this closely anywhere from Trinidad and Tobago to points north towards Barbados and the islands in between. Specifically looking at the H-Wharf model, this is a hurricane or tropical cyclone specific model. It does a pretty good job of developing 94L as you can see here over the next five days. And that's an interesting sign. The H-Wharf does best, make this very clear, it does best once we have a well-defined low-level center, which we do not have yet. But it is taking what energy is there and is trying to develop it further as it moves off to the west and west-northwest with time, moving through the Windward Islands and into the south-central Caribbean Sea. Expanding out to the global model here, this is the GFS, and we can see our system down on the southeast corner there. That's 94L. The GFS not as bullish with this as the Euro is. Um, for reasons that I don't understand, that's fine. The stuff will work itself out. But there it is coming into the Caribbean Sea nevertheless. And we can see our impulse here. It looks like it moves off of Louisiana as a cluster of energy in about two to three days. And then quickly gets its act together as a small tropical system headed towards the central Texas coast. So that's something you folks are going to want, going to, want to watch for. An increase in heavy rain chances and the possibility of some coastal impacts. We're going to want to watch that very closely. I will go over these topics and more in greater detail during my hurricane outlook and discussion video. I will post that later this afternoon on YouTube and Facebook. This has been What's Up in the Tropics. Again, I am Mark Sutta. Thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you some more later this afternoon. <music>